Stadium Championship Series West continues to roll through the Golden State as the battle for the series points lead continues to tighten. Adam Anderson has Grave Digger atop the point standings. Hamden Murphy continues his way back into championship contention. And Ryan Anderson's dominance over the racing competition has Son of a Digger looking at another potential series championship. This is round eight. This is Monster Jam. Snapdragon Stadium in San Diego, California will host round eight of the Monster Jam season. Hello everyone, I'm Scott Jordan alongside the seven Deuce Deuce, Adam and Ticknap. And this series is beginning to heat up with multiple drivers in contention for the series points lead. And we're coming off some big wins here for a few of these drivers, including Vendetta's Mike Christensen, who got his first career racing win on this track. What does Mike need to do to keep the momentum going? You know, Scott, I think he just has to keep doing the same thing he's doing right now. You know, put the pedal to the metal and just look forward and gain that confidence. He's 8-5 and five this season, which is the best start to his season. And maybe that EFI is helping him out a little bit. Cole Stevens got his first freestyle win of the year in Anaheim. It's also his first freestyle win since the World Finals Championship. It's just a moment where the pressure is now off of Colt to go out and perform, or is that something that's going to linger all year? You know, I think it does linger all year, but it's something that he's going to put on himself. He always wears a little bit of a chip on his shoulder, so he just needs to try to relax, take that World Championship pressure off himself, and do the best he can. Camden Murphy coming off an event win, his second of the season. He's just two points behind Adam for the series points lead. Now, in years past, we're used to Camden being on top of the series at this point. Is this a position he should be in right now that's better for him looking up at the top of the leaderboard? I think this is a great position for Camden to be in right now. You know, you can tell every time he has an interview, he's a thinker, and he thinks about what's going on on the track and the way he articulates his words. You can tell he has a lot going on in his head. When he was in first in the championship and was losing points, he was focused focusing on not making mistakes, and that's why those guys were gaining that ground. Now, he's in second in the championship, and all he's doing is focusing on being the best Camden he can be. Well, let's go to Snapdragon Stadium and join our pit reporter, Leslie Mears, who's standing by with the Bakugan Dragonoid driver. Leslie. So here we come into San Diego. You've had a multitude of events so far with adverse weather conditions out there. You're still hanging in there, just two points back, but you feel like it's been a little slow for you. How can you explain that? Yeah, no, you know, I think racing is generally kind of where we excel, you know, and, and that's kind of, I think, where I've been struggling the most at. So I think that's really the biggest thing when it when it comes to me thinking that I'm kind of a little bit behind. So racing really sets you up for a great event. You know, if you can be able to win racing or get to the semifinal round, that's the amount of points that could make or break of a whole entire event. So I feel like I've been falling short a little bit there, but if I can start kind of getting back on my game in racing and keep doing what I'm doing in skills and freestyle, I think that's really the name of the game. Thanks, Leslie. Let's take a look at the lineup for Stadium Championship Series West. Adam Camden Murphy is one of four drivers on this series who's won an overall event championship along with Adam and Ryan Anderson and Barry Musauer. Who do you think could join him tonight as an event winner? You know, I think Corey could. He's had four top five finishes this year, and last time the series was here, he was tied for the overall points lead, so I think Corey can get it done. Let's take a look at the series points standings through six events. Adam Anderson has the lead, Camden Murphy in second, Ryan Anderson right on his tail, Corey Rummel sits in fourth, and Cole Stevens has now jumped up to fifth, so a pretty good looking top five leaderboard on the series. Drivers tonight compete in three competitions. JCB Racing, the Great Clip Skills Challenge, and Freestyle. Points are awarded based on finish, with 12 going to the winner, and the driver with the most points at the end of the event is crowned the overall event champion. Let's go to Track Talk. Adam Drivers have completed two events on this track here at Snapdragon, so they've had some time to figure out the dirt. What advantages does familiar dirt offer to these drivers? You know, it brings definitely a lot of comfort and confidence for those who have succeeded here before, but it also brings an opportunity for other drivers that maybe didn't do their best to fix those mistakes, figure out the problems, and come out here swinging. And also maybe a little too much familiarity could hurt in the long run if things change from last round to this <laughs> round on the track. 
First competition of the night is going to be JCB Racing. And we'll take a look at the round one bracket. Vendetta versus Zombie. Son of a Digger, El Toro Loco. Velociraptor versus Avenger. Grave Digger versus Soldier Fortune. And in round two, it's Thunder Roarus, Bakugan Dragonoid, Megalodon, and Monster Mutt. Adam Ryan Anderson been dominant on the racetrack as of late. He leads the series with three racing wins. Can that trend continue tonight? I think he definitely can continue that trend. But right now, the best matchup for me looks like that Son of a Digger and Bakugan Dragonoid in the second round if Son of a Digger can make it through. That's going to be interesting. Well, let's head down to the track at Snapdragon Stadium to begin our first competition of the night. JCB Racing. It's Mike Christensen in Vendetta up against Bari Musauer in Zombie. Bari 3-6 and six on the year. You talked about Mike earlier. 8-5 and five, off to a hot start. But Bari 0-2 against Mike. And here we go. Out of that top part of the burn, gray lane, red lane. And they are out now. They're going to go around here. It's almost a figure eight track here around that corner. Bari Musauer has the lead. Bari looks like he's spun out just a little bit coming out of turn two. Mike Christensen making up some time, but he grabs a pod. He cannot grab the pod. I'm on a bicycle. Bari Musauer finishes strong, and Zombie will advance to round two. Next up in round one, Ryan Anderson, son of a digger, up against Joe Foley in El Toro Loco. And for more on this race, let's go to Leslie. Guys, Ryan Anderson told me that he expects the dirt here to be very inconsistent because there's a lot of water underneath. He said you need to watch the turns because it's going to run out and get holes very quickly once that moisture comes to the top. Thank you, Leslie. And this race is going to be one of the turns. This racetrack is turn-oriented. Joe Foley with a nice turn. Ryan goes tight. Joe had a lead for a second. Final push to the finish line. And man, that was a close one here. If we go to the Super Glue, glue to the action replay. Man, I thought for a second Joe Foley was going to get that, but it looked like in that very last corner, Ryan Anderson just got a little bit better of a drive and comes out with the win. 21.102 for Son of a Digger. This is David Oford of Velociraptor representing Team Throttle Monster. And he's going up against Team Scream's Jim Kohler. Great Avenger Firebody throwback to 2019 at the All-Star Challenge. And here we go. Velociraptor Avenger up on the berm. Jim goes high. So does David. And right now we're looking around this corner to see who comes out first. Oh, they both spin out. Right now, it looks like Jim Kohler might have this win. Jim trying to do shades of freestyle, goes up over the jammer. Now final push here to the finish line. And Jim Kohler, both of them made mistakes. Jim Kohler able to capitalize on David's first. Let's take a look at the replay. Right here, you can see David just thought it was going to be a little bit tackier than it was. Hits the throttle early and just spins out, unfortunately, not getting it done. Our final round one race features Kayla Blood and Soldier Fortune out of Lafayette, Louisiana. And she goes up against a series points leader, Adam Anderson in Gravedigger. Adam comes in 12 and 5 with one racing win. And here we go onto the berm. Adam with a nice corner there goes up high. And he's got an advantage over Kayla Blood around the jammer. You got to take this corner a little tight. Adam does it. Kayla had the lead, but she's up on two wheels. Same exact thing that happened to David coming out of that exit of that corner, and it looks like Adam Anderson's going to get the win. You can't even leave the slightest room for Adam Anderson to capitalize on anything. Gravedigger takes the win. Take a look at the replay. It looked like to me, Kayla Blood was just trying to push the envelope a little bit. She knew who she was going up against, and instead of sliding out this time, she grabs that tacky dirt. The ruts are already forming, and Adam Anderson gets away with the win. Take a look at the bracket for round two. It's going to be Thunder Roars versus Zombie, Bakugan Dragonoid versus Son of a Digger, Megalodon versus Avenger, and Monster Mutt versus Grave Digger. Fastest time in round one goes to Ryan Anderson as Son of a Digger was clocked at 21.102. Cole Stevens has a freestyle win, but can he grab the racing crown? Thunder Roars is next on Monster Jam. Monster Jam is brought to you by JCB, the official heavy equipment partner of Monster Jam. Welcome back to San Diego for the second round of JCB Racing at Snapdragon Stadium. And our first matchup here in round two is a good one. You got Colt Stevens in Thunder Aurora squaring off against Barry Musauer in Zombie. They're both four and six on the year, and it's the first time they have met this season. Round two has begun as we go up to the burn. Barry in the gray lane, Colt in the red lane. Barry Musauer trying to hit that jammer torn first. Watch Colt when he comes out of this corner. Oh, a little bit wide. Slides a little, but they're pretty even. It looks like Zombie has the advantage. Cole takes the corner tight. Bar's going to make a quick push into the finish line, and Zombie comes from behind to take the win. 21.288.
Zombie comes into this last corner, does a great execution, but you can see Colt Stevens and Thunder Roars just does not get the drive. He pushes a little too hard in that corner and can't get the truck around. This is Camden Murphy in Bakugan Dragonoid. He is squaring off with the fastest driver from round one, son of a digger's Ryan Anderson. But of course, the drivers that advance automatically into round two get lane choice, and Camden is taking the red lane. Into the figure eight straight away around the jammer corner. Ryan Anderson very tight. He's got a nice lane. Camden Murphy spinning out. We're seeing that a lot so far, Adam. Same lane, same thing that happened to David Olford and Velociraptor. Ryan Anderson coming away with a clean win over Bakugan Dragonoid. Red lane offering some problems. Check out the replay. Right there, you can see it. Same as Velociraptor and Soldier Fortune. That lane is giving these drivers trouble. Sliding out, Camden Murphy eliminated. And they got to whip the back end of that truck around. They're just not getting it around quick enough. They're going too narrow. As this one is all team scream, Jim Kohler, Avenger, up against Corey Rumble in Megalodon. Now Corey will see if he navigates the red lane a little better. Jim comes out of the gray lane, hits the corner first. Corey goes wide, that's what you have to do. He nails it. Here they come into the last corner. This is gonna be the deciding factor. Jim Kohler spins out a little bit. Uh, Corey clipped the pod, he's a little sideways and he goes way sideways over the race lane. And it's not gonna matter, Megalodon gets the win. Right here in the last corner. Look at how Jim goes wide and then he gets on the gas just a little bit early in that fluffy stuff. Spins out, can't get the truck straight. Corey Rumble comes away with the win. Fluffy stuff giving some issues so far. <laughs> and Snapdragon, stuff. our final round two matchup, we'll see Chris Kohler in Monster Mud up against Adam Anderson in Grave Digger. And with more on Chris, let's go back to Leslie. Guys, Chris Kohler feels confident about his tune-up. And it sounded so good in practice that other crew chiefs even noticed. He said now he finally has the power to slingshot through those turns. He slingshots a little too hard as he goes up over the jammer. And that's going to give Adam Anderson some wiggle room here around the final corner. Chris goes too hard, and he's going to make the save, but Adam Anderson gets the win. You can see in this replay right here, you take one mistake, and then you turn it into two by pushing the truck just a little bit too hard. Chris Kohler going for the win. You can't be mad at him, but ends up on the lid. Take a look at the semifinal bracket. It's going to be Zombie against Son of a Digger, Megalodon versus Grave Digger, Andersons. Both of them will have lane choice. Ryan Anderson once again the fastest time of the night with 20.671. Coming up, will it be an all Anderson finale or will Zombie and Megalodon spoil the party? Find out when we come back. Monster Jam is brought to you by Great Clips, the official hair salon of Monster Jam. Download the Great Clips app and check in online today. We are back in San Diego for the JCB Racing Semifinals. First up in this round, Bari Mosauer in Zombie will meet Ryan Anderson in Son of a Digger. Ryan has pushed Bari to that far lane. And for more information on that, we send it to Leslie. Guys, Bari was okay with the lane choice he got here from Ryan Anderson. He said after round one, he feels confident in that left lane and thinks he's got a shot. Thank you, Leslie. So far, so good for Barry Masawa. Ryan with a nice corner there on that figure eight track. And Son of a Digger has a lead. Spins out just a little bit for Barry, but he looks like he made up some time. Not quite enough. Ryan Anderson never laid off the gas. 21.241. Ryan Anderson coming into this last corner. Perfect execution. <laughs> Barry gets off into the fluffy stuff, spins it up a little bit, and doesn't get the drive at the finish. Our final matchup, Corey Rummel in Megalodon up against the series points leader, Adam Anderson in Gravedigger. So Corey's in that red lane. We'll see if he's able to get the win. He got a win in the last round, but of course that was because Monster Mutt with a BKT save of the night. Adam Anderson now high up on the berm, goes across, turning to the corner of the jammer. And Corey spins out again. So Corey Rummel not able to navigate that red lane. Adam Anderson has to lead the final turn. And Adam up on two wheels. Bicycle save, he's going double cartwheel. Corey Rummel rushing to the finish line. And Megalodon somehow, oh Adam, God. gets the win. We're gonna take a look here at the Super Glue replay. Here he comes into that last corner, just drives it in a little too hard, tries to make a save, gets on the sidewalls of those BKTs, flips it on the hood, and Corey Rummel comes away with the upset. It ain't over till it's over. 
As we take a look at our racing finals, Corey Rummel and Megalodon, Ryan Anderson, son of a digger. Ryan, once again, will get lane choice here. What do you think he's going to do? <laughs> I mean, we know where he's going. Look at where he put Corey on that red side lane. Now, Corey now has his third opportunity in a row to get that red lane corner. We're going to find out if he gets it. And we got a green light, son of a digger, off the line fast into the berm corner. Okay, here we go, Scott. It's coming down to this turn. Can Corey nail it? Ryan Anderson whips the truck around. Corey's got the corner. He's got to accelerate now. Looks like Ryan Anderson came down the straightaway a little quicker. He is not letting up the throttle at all. Final push to the finish line. And son of a digger takes a win. Ryan Anderson, a big time finale. Take a look at the replay. Man, I got to give it up to Corey Rummel. He did a fantastic job in turn two. But Ryan Anderson is on point. He gets the drive. He's got this track figured out. And he comes away with the racing championship for the night. Great start to the night for Ryan Anderson. That is his fourth racing win of the season as he gets out to celebrate. Fans on their feet here at Snapdragon Stadium. And right now we go down to the track with Leslie and our winner. Well, you definitely called it tonight, Ryan. You said the track was going to be very inconsistent. How much did lane choice play into this? Because we saw you in the left lane for first round, but then when you had choice, you went right. Yeah, absolutely. The lane choice was absolutely, pro like, it's what won tonight. That lane on the far side, second turn had a very slick spot in it, and you've seen almost everybody spin in that spot. But my lane didn't hold itself together either. It was dumping people over. It was getting ruts. It was crazy. This dirt got a ton of moisture this week which I like a tacky track, but it also made it get, get ruts, be slick, it get, it's inconsistent. But skills, if I can put it in the right spot, I'm going to have all the traction in the world. I can pull out something crazy. Wet, dry, tacky, fluffy. Doesn't matter for Ryan Anderson. <laughs> He's got as we check out our first BKT overall point standings of the night. Son of a Digger gets 12. Megalodon with 11. Zombie with 10. Grave Digger with 9. Thunderorus with 8 to round out our current top 5 after one. Two more competitions still coming your way. Next up in San Diego was a great clip skills challenge where drivers could attempt two technical maneuvers on two wheels or they could do a donut. Fans in attendance were judging based on creativity, skill, wow factor, and execution. And with 12 points on the line, let's check out our top five competitors. Taking that fifth spot, Adam Anderson, Grave Digger. Nice bike ride here in San Diego. Throws it up into the bicycle. A little short for Adam Anderson, but nice job. Joe Foley on Toro Local with some technical moves here to wow the crowd. <laughs> Joe Foley has really just gotten so much better this season. The control he has on that 12,000 pound Monster Jam truck is amazing. Good job. No, he's really at a moonwalk. Third place, Barry Musauer making San Diego slap wheelie city. <laughs> Typical Barry Musauer. Great job. He does this better than anybody else. Getting that thing 90 degrees straight up in the air. Camden Murphy, Bakugan dragging away with a moonwalk to take it all the way back across the ramp. This is what'll get it done right here. Throwing it into the nose wheelie, off the step up, then in the moonwalk, then up and back over the step up. And getting the win, it's another one for Ryan Anderson, son of a digger, edges it out into a nose wheelie and takes it back. Yep, doing a maximum moonwalk. We love to see it. Tribute to Tom Mintz, and then right here, the typical Ryan Anderson bicycle. He is so good at these. Look at how far he rides that thing out and then turns it onto those sidewalls. Fantastic job. Ryan's second win keeps his line perfect with 24. Barry jumps the second four points back. Camden Murphy leaps up into third. And then Adam Anderson, Corey Rummel, and Cole Stevens right back there in contention as well. After two, it's been all son of a digger, but can Ryan Anderson finish with a perfect night? Find out when we come back with more Monster Jam. Everyone in Monster Jam is proud to be partners with St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Become a partner in hope and receive a custom St. Jude Monster Jam This Shirt Saves Lives t-shirt. Text Monster Jam is 785-833 or visit stjude.org forward slash Monster Jam to learn more. Snapdragon Stadium in San Diego, California plays host to Stadium Championship Series West. Welcome back to the studio. So far, the night has been perfect for Ryan Anderson, winning both racing and skills. Adam, what's it going to take for Ryan to sweep the night and win all the competitions? You know, I think Ryan Anderson just needs to throw caution to the wind. He needs to not be so conservative and just kind of go for it tonight. And his brother Adam made a crazy save attempt during racing that caused some mechanical issues. So let's check in with Adam Anderson and Leslie Mears. 
So Adam, racing was wild out there. What happened on that almost save out there? Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty crazy. And I was actually talking to Gio on the radio right before that, and I said right lane is going to be sketchy, but I could tell it was faster. It really was. You had more traction over there. And it's pretty obvious. Right before that, Chris Kohler he took a tumble. Then I went to that turn. I was trying to hold it. Almost coming out, came out with a save. And I, like I tell everybody though, if I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out in style. Thank you, Leslie. Adam currently fourth in the BKT overall point standings. Son of a digger stands tall with that perfect night so far. Zombie in second, Bakugan Dragonoid in third, and Thunderorus in fifth. Megalodon right there tied as well. El Toro Loco in contention also for the event championship. Check out the freestyle running order. Coach Stevens has elected to go ninth in Thunderorus, just ahead of Bakugan Dragonoid and Gravedigger, still behind Ryan Anderson. In your opinion, was this the right decision allowing Ryan to go before it? Absolutely not, Scott. I don't know what he was thinking in this situation. I hope, you know, Cole, I hope you know something that we don't know. But for me, I would have definitely went before Ryan Anderson. And he went before Ryan Anderson when he won the World Finals Championship. So we'll see how it pays off for him tonight. Uh, breaking news, Vendetta unable to compete in freestyle as a broken third member suffered in the skills competition. So tough break for Mike Christensen. Yeah, Mike Christensen, these things happen in Monster Jam. Trucks break all the time. You just got to put your best foot forward and uh, look for the next competition. We talked about the ninth spot. Now let's talk about the first spot. Always one to watch as we kick off freestyle. We head back to the track at Snapdragon Stadium out of Lafayette, Louisiana. This is Caleb Blood in Soldier Fortune. Caleb Blood has not had a consistent start to her season. She's had some mechanical issues in Soldier Fortune, so none of that has really been her fault. She's had to sit back and watch other drivers take the freestyle wins. What would a win mean to her career tonight? <laughs> I mean, a win for her would mean a complete season turnaround. Kayla Blood has just had such a tough season. It's been so frustrating to watch everything that's happening to her, especially because of how good of a driver she can be. And right now for Kayla Blood, just go out there, hope for the best, and hopefully in Snapdragon Stadium, there's a little luck on her side. She has not had much luck here so far. This is her third start at Snapdragon Stadium. Her best freestyle finish here is seventh in the first two. We'll see if Lady Luck plays a part in it tonight. Front clip off of Kayla Blood. Now she comes to a complete stop. You never want to see that in a freestyle run. Does not have to hit reverse. Able to turn the truck around and come on back with a little more momentum. Some nice air. Great way to respond there. You get <laughs> shut off. You respond with some nice air. Clearing almost half the track. Yeah, she's she's always been aggressive with her driving. Just kind of on and off the pedal. And that definitely caters towards Monster Jam and good freestyles. Good shot at the Morgan Morgan backflip ramp. Kayla Blood goes right past it, spinning across to that pod. And now we do a wheelie off the backside over the berm. You see some cars there on the track. Nice obstacles there. Kayla Blood now pushing her away, trying to eke her way past the trucks, going right into a donut. Got to get more momentum here, chopping away the San Diego dirt. She's got one going now. There we go. That tacky San Diego dirt. You can just see it coming off in chunks. So hard to get that thing into a donut. But nice job. Breakdance ending transmission going bye bye for Kayla Blood as we take a look at the original super glue glue to the action replay. You can see right here, see how sticky that dirt is. It's actually picking up those two inside wheels on the donut. That's why it's so difficult to get that thing spinning. But great job, great freestyle from Kayla Blood. 8.182 is the score. Out of North Jackson, Ohio, this is Corey Rummel in Megalodon. Comes into freestyle, 10 points off the lead. So a lot of dominoes would have to fall for Corey to win the championship, but we never say never here. And that was a, a fact in Corey's race when it looked like he was <laughs> dead in the water, no pun intended there, and he came back and won. <laughs> I love it, dead in the water. Yeah, it's never over till it's over. That is one thing we've learned in Monster Jam. These trucks break, weird things happen. Just one bad bounce can completely change the night. And who knows, Ryan Anderson might not get any points. So. That's very unlikely, though, Scott. But you have to put your best foot forward and really try to give a good freestyle. Seventh start here for Corey Rummel. All in Megalodon's best finish here was a few years back when he came in second. No wins yet so far for Corey Rummel at Snapdragon Stadium. He's very aggressive right now. Nice little air from Corey working the outsides of this track. Getting that thing swung around nicely. Turned onto the next obstacle. A lot of momentum, huge air for Corey Rummel. Big air, little cross thread. Able to slap Willie combo there, thanks Adam. <laughs> slap Willie combo there, now in the race lane. So Corey putting a lot of momentum here, and he may be going for the Morgan Morgan backflip. It's our first attempt of the night. 
And Corrigable flies Megalodon in the backflip, but he lands this one on the back two and into oh! a moonwalk. Little combination move. That's exactly what we needed. Hit him early with the backflip in this run. Oh, man, this is fantastic. This is going to be a good score. A lot of time left on the clock. Now, the jammer, the position of that burn, which becomes a jammer and an obstacle. And, and we got smoke coming out of the back end of that Megalodon truck, maybe the transmission as well, but not a great spot for him to be in. You got to hit the brakes because there are trucks right in front of you when you come off that landing. There you go, throwing a little bit of donut. Very difficult on that jammer side like you were talking about, but these guys are, these guys and girls are so good at driving. They know how to maneuver. Corey, no problems. Looks like that truck's heating up. And we'll take a look now at the super glue replay. The Morgan and Morgan backflip. Megalodon, the shark, does a beautiful flip. And then look at how he gets the bounce, sees that, notices it, throws it into reverse, and gets the combination move. Nice job, Corey. Megalodon just took a chunk out of the backflip ramp, but who's going to hit it next? Find out when we come back with more freestyle on Monster Jam. We are back at Snapdragon Stadium for more Monster Jam. Earlier today, San Diego fans were out in droves at the pit party, meeting drivers, seeing the trucks, having all the fun they can handle. And if you want to attend the pit party, make sure you get your tickets at MonsterJam.com. During the break, Freestyle will continue. Avenger hits the Morgan Morgan backflip, ran, skies it, lands it, and Jim Kohler keeps going off the step up into a cartwheel and tries to save it here. Just too much over rotation, 7.694. David Olford in Velociraptor filled the clock with a consistent run. Big straight up willy, but his score was just a 7.810 after he hit the Morgan & Morgan backflip. A lot of backflips tonight so far, but fans <laughs> unimpressed so far in San Diego. That leads us to co-rookie of the year, Chris Kohler in Monster Mutt. And for more on Chris, we check back in with Leslie Mears. Guys, something interesting about Chris Kohler is that he's very superstitious, and he's got a set of rituals and routines that start with things before pit party that go all the way up to the event down to how he gets dressed. And don't even get me started on his socks. Thank you, Leslie. I didn't <laughs> think we'd talk about Chris Kohler's socks here, but we're doing that. What type of rituals did you have in Supercross as an athlete? You know, for me, I did have all oh, a nice Huge save. save. So maybe the socks paying off here for Chris Kohler. What a save. A little cartwheel action right there for Chris. You know, I didn't have a lot of rituals, but you know, I didn't I didn't really believe in that stuff. I thought the work that I put in behind the scenes was gonna get me where I needed to get no matter what. But you know, whatever works for Chris Kohler, if it's working here tonight, that's what he needs to do. Put that left boot on first and then the right one if that's what you gotta do. So some dynamite saves so far tonight. Now comes over the berm, goes off to the left side on the far end of the track. A lot of room there, though. He's got to stay in bounds, which he does. Comes off some nice momentum, trying for a transfer jump too far to the right. But he is able to grease it on the landing. I've talked to Chris before. He loves stadiums with tacky dirt, and this seems to be his forte when the dirt is grippy. And it seems to be good for his truck as well. So off to a good start in freestyle, but we're gonna need some wow moments if he's gonna get a big score. Megalodon has the lead as you just saw that score. And now Chris Kohler turning monster mutt around here. So the Morgan Morgan backflip ramp, we've seen a lot so far tonight. We'll see if Chris Kohler can land this one. Sends monster mutt up the ramp, tries to bring it back down. He's able to get it. So everybody hitting this ramp hard and hitting it right. But now Chris gonna try to back it up and continue this run to go. Huge air there from Monster Mutt. Great move after the backflip. You know, not the biggest air that we've seen. It looks like he's be, he's driving a little conservative, doing some cross-threading here at the end. Oh, here we go. A nice little save. Chris Kohler, the socks again. <laughs> Chris Kohler with another save. That's what I'm talking about. Check out the replay. Here Chris comes into that Morgan and Morgan backflip. You can see how much those metal ramps in front of that backflip container are really helping these drivers execute. And then here he gets up onto those sidewalls, grabs a little bit of hookup off those BKTs and pulls it out. Our next competitor out of Orlando, Florida, Zombies Barry Musauer. He comes in trailing Ryan Anderson by four points. So he's in it, but a big run here would go a long way to try to get Barry to that overall event championship. And there's Vintage Zombie right there coming off the backside of that ramp into a slap wheelie to start the run. So cool to see the undercarriage of that truck, getting that truck 90 degrees up in the sky. Baru Musauer, that's one of his signature moves that he has perfected here in Monster Jam. 
Resurgence in freestyle this year for Bartimus Sauer after a down 2023. He's got two freestyle wins so far on the year on this series. Now comes right back over. Could be a slap wheelie here. Gets the front end up right back on the wheelie bar. Slot in the back out of that zombie truck. Definitely a little slow here at the beginning. Throwing a couple slap wheelies in, but we need to speed up the momentum and get some big air going and then nail that backflip. No win so far at Snapdragon Stadium back at Petco Park in 2022. Barry did have two freestyle wins in San Diego, but of course a smaller baseball field, a little more wide open here at Snapdragon. Yeah, and that's the problem with it being so wide open is Barry, you can just tell he's not on the gas as much as I want him to be. He's not getting from, you know, jump to jump or obstacle to obstacle as fast because he's being careful. This tacky dirt could grab you at any moment. But in a freestyle moment, if you want a big score, you have to race to that next obstacle, get the motor loud, get the crowd going, get them excited, and don't let them have too much downtime. One of those freestyle wins came at the hands of Grave Digger. That was a viral moment when Zombie jumped over Tyler <laughs> Menega's truck, which was laying waste on the dirt. And yeah. Moore's got to pick it up here. The score to beat 9.603. Chris Kohler and Monster Mutt currently with the freestyle lead. Yeah, I'm not sure if this freestyle is going to do it. Let's see if he can get a combination move or something big out of this backflip. Go for the Morgan Morgan backflip again. Barry Musauer spinning zombie. And right on the back end. And he's got a little bit of time left here to try to push something out. Just a floater up onto the pod, and that is going to do it. Take a look at the Super Glue replay. Here he comes. You can see those metal grates that I was talking about going up the backflip container, making this backflip super consistent for these drivers able to go on after they hit that backflip ramp. Pretty awesome. We're halfway through the competition, and Monster Mud has the lead, but will it be enough to win? Freestyle continues next. Monster Jam is brought to you by Spin Master. Monster Trucks, Monster Stunts, Monster Jam. Welcome back to San Diego as we continue the freestyle competition. Up next out of Leicester, Massachusetts, it's Joe Foley and El Toro Loco. So one career freestyle win for Joe happened in Kansas City in 2023. So this is what I'm talking about right here. You can tell Joe Foley already on the throttle a little bit harder, getting to the jumps quicker and just makes it, it, it feels more exciting to me, Scott. He's got a great truck to play with here. One of his favorite trucks in Jim's arsenal. El Toro Loco now on the backside, comes right off, could be a slap wheel. He gets it up yeah. again. Great throttle rhythm there for Joe Foley on the catch on those BKT tires. Ooh, Joe kind of throwing in a little bit of a combination move. Almost a double slap wheelie right He slid there. the wheelie all the way out past the cars. Now he goes off to the left side, threading the needle, and then back over the jammer pod. Got an arena pod almost built into this track, which is really cool. You go to an arena event, you see a six-sided pod. We have one of those built in to the stadium <laughs> track. Yeah, it's so cool. It has a little bit of everything. Oh, here comes a big save. Nice job. Great control from Joe. Almost ran out of room. Joe fully caught it at just the right moment. Now comes back over the far side of that berm into the center area of the track. Center lane for El Toro Loco catching some momentum up on three BKT tires. And now Joe Foley got something on his mind here. Huge oh, hair oh, for El Toro there we Loco. Go. Sends it off, lands it hard, side slap for Joe Foley and El Toro Loco. Yeah, I love everything that Joe is doing right now. Fantastic job. He's hitting the rear steer early in every corner right there. You can see it. And what that is allowing him to do is get that truck whipped around quickly. Morgan Morgan backflip attempt here for El Toro Loco. Joe Foley sends the truck. Skies, he's going oh, under again. rotation. He's going to try to catch this onto the nose of El Toro Loco. What a save and what a move for Joe Foley. <laughs> oh, yeah. you seen those BKT tires hooking up right there at the end to make the save. Joe Foley continuing. He's going to try to just climb over the backflip <laughs> ramp this time. You can't do another one, but maybe just climb over it gingerly. He's able to get off the ramp. Now the front end of that truck, all kinds of crazy floater jump. Now back across the near side berm. And right now with that front end down like that, he's actually going to be able to see more throwing it into a donut. Oh! Joe Foley catching fire here in El Toro <laughs> Loco. Take a look at the replay. Wow. Here he comes into the Morgan and Morgan backflip. He under rotates a little bit, 
gets a big bounce off those front tires to the back tires and then has the awareness to stay on the gas in forward and makes a big save ending out the competition with a donut that transmission heated up and joe foley's on fire and his truck's on fire and joe foley is out and the fans going nuts 9.715 as joe foley takes the lead next up from kill devil hills north carolina ryan anderson in son of a digger he only needs to place eighth or better here to win the event championship. I think the odds are pretty good for Ryan Anderson <laughs> if he can fill the first 60 seconds to finish an eighth. Yeah, I think the odds are uh, definitely falling into his favor right now. This is uh, one of Ryan Anderson's favorite competitions. It's, he's always seemed to excel at this particular competition. Beautiful move landing on the backside of that step up right there. Yeah, Ryan is a World Finals high jump champion two times now, but you got to look at the precision. He lands this truck and he knows when to get the air, but he also knows when to keep the speed. And we just saw that when he's able to keep the low center of gravity, stay low, grease the back two wheels and end up continuing his momentum in his run. You know, and right there, he, it's just, it's so awesome to see how much talent Ryan Anderson has. He jumps a little far, avoiding when he's cross-threading, avoiding a weird landing that could be, you know, at a different angle, making sure the truck is landing on all four BKT tires. Just doing a fantastic job keeping that truck together and not having too much wear and tear. One freestyle win here at Snapdragon Stadium and an overall here earlier this year. Got a lot of success in San Diego. Two career overall event championships as well. Back in Petco, you talking about that. All the way back to Qualcomm Park in 2012. Ryan's been winning. He's been at this for a long time. And he's been at the top of his game for a long time. Yeah, he's always been such a fantastic driver. Right now, he's working the inside of the track. Kind of just trying to get a couple of skills moves in there. Use the bicycle. Nice save. Oh, here we go. This is that chaos caution mode. Son of a oh! digger. With an extra push right there by the log. Gets up over the pod and saves it. Man, that was absolutely insane. The way he had so much truck awareness and was able to save that. Incredible. Ryan Anderson. Big bounce in Snapdragon Stadium. Gets a little cattywampus right there but gets that left front BKT to grab, hook up, and pulls out of it. 8.163 for Ryan Anderson. As we check out our current freestyle leaderboard, the score to beat so far, El Toro Loco's 9.715, Monster Mud in second, Megalodon third, Soldier Fortune fourth, and Son of a Digger puts in that run and puts him in fifth place. We're down to the final three. Colt Stevens, Camden Murphy, and Adam Anderson take us home next on Monster Jam. We are back with more of round eight on the 2024 Monster Jam season from Snapdragon Stadium in San Diego. Moments ago during the break, Colt Stevens gave it a go in Thunder Roars, but a broken sway bar would end his run. Unfortunately, no score there for Colt, did not fill the clock to get it. And that brings us to Camden Murphy and Baku Gon Dragonoid. He is out of contention for the event championship, but Adam's season points are on the line. And at the moment, unofficially, he trails Adam Anderson by only two. Every single point is so important in these championships. These three drivers at the top, Adam Anderson, Ryan Anderson, and Camden Murphy are so equally matched. It is gonna be a dog fight all the way to the end. Every single point matters and this freestyle right here, these few points, could be the championship decision at the end of the year. And I will say this, throughout the season, Camden Murphy has been consistent in freestyle. His average is 9.101. That is the third highest in this 12 driver field. However, that average has amounted to zero wins. <laughs> How that is possible, I have no idea. Camden Murphy is definitely due. He's one of those drivers that is at the top of the list every single time we watch him. And right now, he's doing a fantastic job in this freestyle. One thing I love about this Bakugan Dragonoid truck, anytime the front clip is missing, the nose is still there. <laughs> yeah, you gotta love that, that horn sticking out the front of the truck, just making sure everybody knows who's on the track. And too, it's probably a little bit for him to be able to see what he's doing around these corners. Probably that original super glue. Let's take a look here. The Morgan and Morgan backflip ramp forward. Camden Murphy goes up and Bakugan Dragonoid comes out into a moonwalk. Got a little sideways there, tried to slink it. Couldn't keep it going, but he gets the moonwalk and the backflip combo. Okay, now he needs to one, two, give us some big air and a wow moment here at the end, and he'll get this win. Just under 30 seconds to go here for Camden Murphy. 
Trying to swing some momentum here. There Big we time go. jump all the way across the track over the pod. He's got to keep it, keep his composure. He's able to save it before he goes right into that out of bounds marker. He's oh! there now for Baku got Dragonoid. Break check onto the side, onto the hood, and a save on the BKT tires. What a move. What a combination for Camden Murphy. Here he comes into the Morgan and Morgan backflip. You can see he gets it to hit those rear tires just perfectly, bounce them up, throws it in reverse for the combination move. And this is that huge jump in the air. Look at how high he is. Gets a huge bounce. Oh, that one's going to hurt his back tomorrow for sure. Comes out with the save. Oh, man, fantastic freestyle. Does not come out with the lead, though. 9.055. No. Joe Foley still at the top. And that brings us to our final competitor, Adam Anderson and Gravedigger for an update. Let's go to Leslie. Guys, it's been a rough night for Adam Anderson. He spent all of freestyle in the back as they replaced that third member on his truck. And so he didn't get to see any live action of freestyle out here. He's only been watching it on TV. One thing he told me for sure, though, that he was going to make sure his team did was change the shock setting. He said this dirt is really hard packed and it rebounds really aggressively. So he's got to have the shocks ready for it. All right, thank you, Leslie. So it was during racing where he, he caused the initial damage to the truck during that crazy save attempt. And now, how, how is it for a driver when you can't even watch the other the drivers? Because I know a lot of them like to sit there in the truck and see what the other drivers hit, see the angles they go. Adam Anderson has had none of that so far. He's running blind here just from a TV monitor as he tries to do his freestyle run. You know, for Adam Anderson, if he was a rookie or even somebody that was five years in, I would think that would matter. But for Adam Anderson, he's so nonchalant. He really knows this truck like the back of his hand. He knows these tracks like the back of his hand. He knows what to do in a Monster Jam truck. Sometimes it's almost better that he doesn't know what has happened. If he just goes out there and does his best, he will come out on top. The body is gone. The door somehow still hanging on to Grave Digger right up. Obviously, the apex. He goes on the backside into a wheelie. One wheel. Yeah. Wheelie just try to slide this thing around. And now Adam Anderson. Just absolutely destroying this truck. You can tell he's out here with a vengeance. You're trying to make something go. And, and this is the cross-threading, this Grave Digger style yeah. that Dennis created. And Adam now is doing it as he makes his way to the Morgan & Morgan backflip. And he's got one going here. He's flings it around. And Adam Anderson out of nowhere with a backflip. How is the door hanging on him? <laughs> I have no idea. There is so much chaos going on in this freestyle run. This is absolutely amazing. He knows to beat that score from Joe Foley. He has got to lay this truck back into that dirt. And now Adam Anderson is going to run out of time. What a run for Gravedigger. We'll see if it's enough. Take a look at the replay. He comes right here into the eight pack. Gets a perfect launch. A little bit of a twist in that backflip, but lands it on all four BKT tires. And man, that was a cool run. Take a look at our final freestyle leaderboard. Joe Foley with that incredible back-to-back -back flip takes the win. 9.715. Monster Mutt in second. Megalodon in third. Grave Digger in fourth. Bakugan Dragonoid in fifth. I think this is probably the most exciting freestyle competition <laughs> we've had on this series so far. It's definitely been exciting. You can tell the level of competition has risen, and these guys are here to play. For Joe Foley, it's his second career freestyle win. And right now, let's go to Leslie Mears with our freestyle winner, El Toro Locos, Joe Foley. What a night for Team Scream. So you saw your teammates go out there. They crushed it. And you're waiting in the wings to go. What are you thinking as you're watching those scores pop and those amazing runs? Man, it was tough. Watching Corey go out there and kill it. Watching Chris go out there and just burn the house down. I mean, I was nervous. I didn't know what I was supposed to do to top them. But the bull worked out for me. That truck. I love that thing. That is one of the best pieces of equipment I have ever driven in my entire life, and I just cannot get over how amazing that was. What does it mean to take home the freestyle victory in a crowd like this, and it's your first one? And it was awesome. I mean, coming out to San Diego, I made my debut here last year in Axe. Absolutely amazing. Getting my second freestyle ever in my entire career. I mean, doing it in San Diego, what could be better than that? Here's our final BKT overall point standings. Ryan Anderson won't get the perfect night, but he does get the win. Adam Anderson will finish in second. The freestyle win jumps Joe Foley to third. And then Camden Murphy and Barty Musawa round out the top five. For Ryan, it's his second event win of the season. Let's hear from our winner. Ryan, you're holding the hardware at the end of the night, but freestyle was insane. Was there a point where you were like, maybe I won't take this overall tonight? 100%. The truck in front of me, Joe Foley and El Toro Loco, absolutely literally burned it down. Chris Kohler, Monster Mutt, I mean, I was, I'm not going to lie, 
I was giddy in the truck. We were fans tonight. It was awesome. So I'm not upset about not winning freestyle, even though that's definitely my favorite. We got the racing, we got the skills, which brought home the hardware. So I'm still stoked, I'm happy, and couldn't be more excited because these fans got one heck of a freestyle competition tonight. We will see if Ryan Anderson can continue to climb up the leaderboard when we come back to San Diego for round nine. For Adam Ensignap and Leslie Mears, I'm Scott Jordan. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you right here next time on Monster Jam.